All right, what's going on? You listen to King Camel and Jubay podcast, and Jubay means message. And let's get right into it. Today is the last day of night school. So uh, without further ado, we're going to get into the business. All right. Now, here it is. Here it is. We shall encourage and strengthen studies of African culture and history and geography and the institutions of learning in the African states. Declaration of Eight Independent African States, Accra, in 1958. But the question is, have we been successful? Have we been successful in this effort? All right. Yeah, we in chapter 12. History begins anew. This is the last chapter of our book. This is it. This is the last day of summer school. Chapter 12. History begins anew. This, this has been a journey. I, I've, I've enjoyed it, and I hope you guys did, too. But uh, this is a short chapter. This is a quick chapter, but we got to finish, right? All right, of course, is the intro to African history geared just for you and designed to foster a life of learning. Uh, this is an introduction to African history. It will be once a week, and it will go over a few readings on the continent. Are there any other civilizations in Africa outside of Kemet? I believe we have established that through our studies and through our learning together. I am very happy about it. I've learned a lot. Okay. Let me know what you've learned also. Okay. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, but let me know what you have learned in our journey together. All right. Let's go. We have covered the sub regions of Africa where we have completely crisscrossed the continent of Africa from north, south, east to west. This is a large continent and I hope you guys can get into it and learn something uh, about each one of them. All right, we're still in this book. One more time, The Lost Cities of Africa by Basil Davidson. The description is in the link below. Um, as an Amazon affiliate, I earn from qualifying purchases. But this is the book we have completed. Yay, we completed it. All right, this is the last day of night school. Okay, get ready to enroll for summer school. We are about to move on into something different, but today is the last day. Get a break, do a little reading, play a few video games whatever. All right, but this is what we're about to get into. Get ready for summer school. Get you a copy of The Wonderful Ethiopians of the Ancient Kushite Empire by Drusilla Dungey Houston. This is a old book, but it is a good one. People have been asking me about Kush, about Sudan, and we've been lightly tapping, dealing with it, but uh, yeah, we're going to get into The Wonderful Ethiopians of the Ancient Kushite Empire all right, this is our next book. It is a short read, a light read, but I think it's necessary. All right. Now, let's, back, let's get back to this uh, statement. We shall encourage and strengthen studies of African culture and history and geography in the institution of learning in the African states. This is the Declaration of Eight Independent African St uh, States in Acura, Accra in 1958. Have we been successful? You let me know. In my opinion, we have not been successful. It seems like in the education of African culture and studies and history, we take two steps forward and five steps backwards. So it seems like we're still dealing with revamping our own curriculum. This is the reason why I have this podcast is because, you know, we spent a lot of time revamping it only to come back again and rewash and renew the old stuff. All right? Y'all let me know. All right. And in the book, history begins anew. How? It begins through restoration of lives. Um, uh, it, it takes a different spin. I know a lot of people like to be condescending and negative, but it, it, it's, a, it's a bright outlook on African people and Africa. Okay, he says, these curious years, it may, after all, uh, have seen, we have witnessed a gradual lifting of a racist mythology. This is Basil Davidson, a European. Okay, lifting of a racist mythology that has blurred and muddled the progress of humanity at one time or another, in one way or another, everywhere in the world. These years restore or at any, uh, any rate, prepare to restore a decisive responsibility of Black people for their own lives. 
restoration of their own lives. This is the reason why we, we deal with history is to restore our lives, you know, get back what we have lost or whatever, right? Restoration of lives. Now, how history begins to move through reviewing of history, okay? The reviewing of history. He says, in this brief review of some aspects of African history before the period of major colonial contact and conquest, many matters have been left aside. We've established that. There was a lot of kingdoms that rose and fell and great things happened, negative things happened, but they were not uh, put in the history books that are common to everybody. All right? That is common knowledge. These, this information you got to dig up and find and research upon research but we found out that a lot of this information has been omitted okay many problems passed over in silence that's what he said even a long even a longer book or a wiser writer must have done the same they tried to hint at it they tried to tip tiptoe and tip tap around it but yeah so how can history begin anew how can we the restoration of lives and reviewing history, and then Africa can reappear. But how will it reappear? You know, um, they and the life had had were part of a continuous movement, which might wonderfully wander back and forth upon the stones of time, but would always at the end resume its line of march. Okay, how would Africa reappear? They reappear today in the sad evening of the world of nation states, yet their own tradition, one may know as seldom, uh, seldom one of narrow nationality, nationality, their genius was for integration. But I'm sorry, integration, integration by conquest, um, as times prescribed, but also, he says, but also by an ever fruitful mingling and migration. They were never patient of exclusive frontiers. Thus, you know, thus the old empire, Kanem and Mali and Songhai, and the greatest of all uh, of the power concentrations of the old Sudan had its own evolving structure. This governing council of 12 princes who ruled territories of the far spread state through many generations. He goes on to talk about the 19th century imperialism. He talks about the, uh, and then he goes from imperialism to independence, independence as nations and, and states, and, and it deepens across the coming years. But of course, the fate of Africa and Africans in the diaspora, he says, it remains to be seen. Now, it may be time to speak of their achievements. Yes, we talk about a lot of negative things, you know, things that are heartbreaking, things that are wrong in society, but let's Talk about some great things, some some positive things. It's easy to harp on what they have done to us or 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 what our community looks like. But what are some good things, y'all? All right. So this is how history can begin anew. Restoration of lives, reviewing history, and Africa will reappear, whatever shape and form it would be. It has to be unhindered, right? All right, let's go. Okay. Of course, what's next? We're going to deal with ancient Kush. We are done with chapter 12. So we're done with the book. What's next? We're going to deal with Kush. We're going to go with ancient Kush. We talk, a lot of people talk about Kush. We're going to get into Moroi. We're about to get into ancient Nubia. All right. Get your copy. Get your copy before summer school. And of course, the link is in the description. But uh, I've enjoyed this. Okay, shout out to everybody listening, who tuning in, wherever you are, New York, Los Angeles, Texas, uh, uh, South Africa, Germany, UK, Brazil, all of you guys. I really appreciate it. Morocco. Shout out to the family of Morocco. But uh, this has been a wonderful journey, night school, a night journey. And I really appreciate all of you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and get ready for summer school. And I will talk to you later. Have a good one.